Hi everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson, and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to tip number 66. I've had a lot of tip requests come in asking me how to make images a little more sharp or give them a little bit more of a crispness to them. So today I'm going to take you into Photoshop and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way just to enhance your photos to make them a little bit more sharp. So I'll see you in Photoshop in a minute. So we're going to use this image. As you can see, I'm just going to enhance it right there. Um, we've just made it sharper and the texture and the hat come out. So now I've taken it back to the original and we're going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to show you three ways how to make an image sharp and you can decide which way that you like. So we're going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass. So you, you got to remember we're doing this on another layer. So you're going to see the image like this and you can turn it up to be really contrasty or turn it down. Um, yeah, like as low as you want. So you can create as much texture in your image as you'd like. So we're going to go about there and then we're going to do like we did last week, a overlay. So we're going to go to blending options and then we're going to make it an overlay and hit OK. And then um, as you can see here, I'm going to turn off the layer and then on. You can see the contrast in her hair, how it picks up the little details. And um, and but we can change the opacity on that layer, too, if you're thinking it's too much. So now it's not that big of a difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this again. So we're going to go back to the original. We're going to duplicate the layer. So we're going back and then we're going to turn up the, uh, the pixels on the high pass up to about like really high 65%. Okay. And then we're going to blend it. We're going to go to blending options again, hit overlay. There we go. Okay. And there it's pretty, it's too contrasty. You may want an image like that, but not usually you want it to look as natural as possible. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the eraser and we're going to erase where it's too much. Okay. So we're just going to erase around here. Sometimes you'll see like around the edges, it'll create like a, a haze around it. So you just want to make sure your image looks as natural as possible. Okay. So there, we're just going to race around her skin and her face. And so just the, her hair, her hat, the background, look at the background pop there. Pretty amazing. Okay. So that's one way to do it. And you can change the opacity again on that layer. And uh, so now we're going to delete it. We're going to go do this another way. So we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to sharpen and unsharpen mask. I have a good friend who's a graphic designer and he always says the best is to put the amount 85% radius three and threshold one in those boxes and hit okay. It's just a very natural, but you do get um, sharp, a sharper image. So the third way we're going to try this is through um, sharpen, smart sharpen. So there are a bunch of ways to to sharpen your images. You'll want to try all three different ways and kind of figure out what you like the best. So this way we're going to increase the, um, the radius to 3.2 and the amount there. And here you go. We're just going to go back in our history and look at the before and after. The best piece of advice that I can give you is to always work on another layer and always save any enhanced image as a B. Never save over your original files. Okay. On behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip and we will see you in two weeks. And again, guys, just a reminder, if you haven't joined our Facebook page, please do facebook.com forward slash Vine Images Inc. And you can send your tip requests to vineimages at hotmail.com. Just put your subject as Tuesday's tip requests. Okay, so we'll talk to you soon. Have a great week, guys. Well, two weeks and we'll see you then. Bye.